Hi there. So this is going to be a review of the Elmo Sesame Street training potty. Um, my daughter absolutely loves Sesame Street and Elmo. So if you have a child that loves Sesame Street and Elmo, they are going to love this potty, potty seat. Um, one thing I like about it I guess the first thing I like about it is it's actually a three-in-one so as it stays you can step on it use it as a stool and another thing that's awesome when they finish um, potty training on this little potty they're ready to go for the big toilet sorry about my toilet but you can put this right on the toilet seat just like this it locks in place it hardly moves around get a step stool like this you can use this as a step stool so they can step on the step stool onto the toilet do their business wash their hands dry their hands and leave and it's it's awesome if I had known that this was so great I would have gotten this for my firstborn but this kind um, I think they do make other characters my at the time my son didn't really like Sesame Street or Elmo very much so um, so we got him another toilet, which I'm going to do a review on. It's like the one that looks like a little person's, um, it looks like a adult toilet, but it's actually a small toilet. I'll do a review on that one too. But this Elmo potty, um, is great because it is so easy to clean too. Um, since this part comes off, I can rinse it with hot water or hand sanitizer. And this comes off too. So this is very easy to clean. Um, this also, I mean, it is it's very, very easy to clean. There's no, no real um, little crevices or places where I can't get to clean. And I love that about it. Um, because there are some toilets that are extremely hard to clean. This one is just, they just make it so easy for you. So we really enjoyed that. My daughter, of course, really enjoys the... <laughs> when she's ever, she's done. Um, doing her thing then she turns around and there's there's a bunch of different sounds that Elmo makes so there's like what four sounds four or five sounds and it varies every time you flush it or you turn that button there um, and then also what's great is that there's this little flap here. So if you do have a boy, it doesn't splash up. And there's these little handles that makes it easy for them to sit down. There are a lot of toilets that don't have those little handles and I can't understand why because I think it's really more comforting for them, for them to have something to hold on to while they're trying to go to the bathroom. Um, there is another toilet too that I have to look it up. I'm not sure if it's Fisher Price or a different brand but there's one that has nice handles on it as opposed to this one this one that my son uses this baby Bajoran one it doesn't have any handles on it and sometimes he does feel uncomfortable sitting there trying to go to the bathroom because he can't really hold on to anything so putting his dirty hands on the wall <laughs> um which I don't really want him to do you know so or he puts his hands on the toilet seat which is even worse um so yeah, one with a little bit of a handle, make them feel like they're sitting on there, they're not going to fall through or anything like that. Obviously, it would never happen. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so that's my my recommendation, is if you have a child, especially one that likes Sesame Street or Elmo, to get this potty seat because, I mean, not only they're going to love the sounds, but it's easy for you. It's easier for you to clean um, and it's like multi-use, so you can use it as a step stool. You can actually take off the white part, as I showed you, and put it on the toilet, so when they get a little bit bigger and they feel more comfortable with going on the actual toilet seat, then you can use it for that. I mean, it's also it seems like it's portable, too, so if you really need to use it in a, someone else's restroom or um, even a public restroom, which I would never do because I think that's disgusting. But if you have to do it and, uh, you don't really have much of a choice because your toddler is more comfortable that way, then you're going to do it, you know? So I really think I'm glad Sesame Street did a, a great job with this toilet. And, um, I'm just really thankful because every time I put my child on this toilet, 
she goes to the bathroom, she doesn't have any kind of complaints or anything, and I think she finds it entertaining, and it's very comforting for her to actually have, you know, an Elmo there for her, making little sounds to make her giggle or feel more comfortable. So, even when you're done with this toilet, you can close it and just use it as a step stool. So it's not like you really have to get rid of it right away. Um, it's also good to fit into smaller spaces like that. You just tuck it away. Don't have to worry about it. And it's awesome. So if you have any questions or anything, oh, these do take batteries, by the way. Sorry about that. Let's see, what does it take? Um, I think it's just AA batteries. But anyway, I'll double check that and I'll put it in the comments just to make sure. But these batteries last, I mean, it does last quite a bit. We've had this potty going for maybe six months or something, and the battery still hasn't worn out. So the battery life is pretty good on it. And yeah, I don't have any issues. I mean, it hasn't broken or anything. It's also, you know, the colors can be okay for a girl or, or okay for a boy, and it's affordable. I think I spent $25 on it at the store. $25, $30 at, at Target. So, yeah, really cute Elmo. Also, if you are into consigning, I make consignment videos. You could definitely consign this potty if you don't need to use it anymore. This will go very quickly at a consignment sale because of how great it is and it's Elmo and everyone, you know, all the kids, little kids love Elmo. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments, let me know. I'm sorry you had to look at my really ugly walls <laughs> and floor, but it's okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.